Hello, and this is my first look and quick review of PDF Pro 3. This is by A Shampoo. This is another piece of software by them that I'm going to review because I thought it would sound interesting. And it's a good alternative or potential alternative to Adobe Acrobat Standard or Professional. Now, of course, it's not going to have all of the features of the company that created the PDF or has the, you know, I don't want to say patent, but the has had filed it as an international standard, but if it can do the edits that most people need to do, that could save you a lot of money and a recurring lifetime subscription or bill to Adobe. And it's expensive to edit PDFs if you're doing the subscription service with Adobe. You used to be able to just buy it for like, I don't know, 350 bucks or depend on, on the version, but it gets expensive when you're paying 14, 15 bucks a month to edit PDFs. I don't know what most people are paying, but you know, maybe nonprofits can get a little bit cheaper. But anyways, let's start out. I downloaded a random PDF. I probably should have screened it, but I just downloaded it from the internet. Uh, just a big list of PDFs from GitHub. So this one's just some text. And anyways, it will launch the program. Or if I double click it, it's going to ask me the first time because this is a fresh Windows install, it's going to ask me what app can open PDFs. Now, Microsoft Edge is very aggressive at suggesting that you let it open PDFs. They want all your data. They do. So we're going to use, I'm going to pick a shampoo PDF. I want to see how it does as a PDF viewer, firstly. So let's click Always and see how it does opening a PDF. Can it do it? I forgot to activate this. Uh, let's just do continue evaluation. And a shampoo does tend to have very generous evaluations on their software and it's fully functional from what I've seen. So, okay. Well, I like this little, you know, table of contents here. This is neat. Okay. Very nice. So now what we're going to do is just talk about what PDF pro can do and see if it can actually do it in a test here. I mean, I'm assuming it can, <laughs> it's paid for software and, um, well, this is my quick review of PDF Pro 3. So it's supposed to be a complete solution to manage and edit your PDF documents. And they say it has everything you need to create, convert, edit, merge, and protect your PDFs. Now, edit's the big one because a lot of PDF editors, if you will, or you know, lower-priced or free ones are really just notating over top of it and then just reprinting it to PDF, which everybody's window computers and... Linux and Mac OS has a PDF printer in it. You can always print to a PDF. It's just resaving a file and you're just layering things on top of it. I'm talking about actually editing the file. And that's what this can do. Now, again, I don't see as many menus and features packed into this as Adobe Acrobat. But again, you're paying, I mean, hundreds of dollars over the course of owning it as opposed to a one-time license like you can with this. You can create perfectly sized documents that are readable on any device. You know, that's what PDF's all about. <laughs> but I think it's just portable document format, right? But you can also edit PDFs as quickly and easily as Word documents. So just like this, it kind of looks like a little word processor layout. And we're going to zoom in because we're only at 62% zoom. And I can just click in here. Oh, that is so cool. Now, to start editing a PDF, this is already easier than Adobe Acrobat. I use this on a database basis, uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe Acrobat. I install it on hundreds of computers, uh, <laughs> hundreds. And this right here, they don't force a new menu on you. That's what Adobe's currently doing. They're changing, uh, telling you to use the new Acrobat, um, and a lot of people don't like it. I can tell you that. But this right here just lets me start editing. And this text almost looked like it was scanned. I don't know if I'm just, I don't think it was, but it, it almost kind of to me at first looked like it's a scanned text, but I can just start going in here and editing it. And let's see what happens if I try to change the font size. Can I do that? If I go to, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is really smooth and it runs like a retro program. And what I mean by that is it's not bloated feeling. It's running like as if it could run on a computer with lower specs like this one. And it's running really well. So, I can then go to something like file and I'm guessing export or save. I go to save as PDF A. There it is. Great. What is the export option? Export page as. 
Okay, HTML3 creator. This is really cool. Now, I'm not going to have time to waste your time trying out every one of these features, but you can just kind of see that they're there. And again, you can edit PDFs as quickly and easily as Word documents. I agree. That seems very accurate. And it's got this handy ribbon at the top, which I love. You can also switch between work modes with one click and use the eye-friendly dark mode to reduce eye strain and increase productivity. I'd like to see more things packed into here, maybe under this view menu, or just expand these other things because you have the room to do it. That's one suggestion I would think of, but other than that, it's pretty good because you don't really need to expand something if it's if you got all this room. But um, um, you know, I'm assuming you can customize this a little bit and add to your tools. So, one of the features in PDF Pro three is the ability to create and edit interactive forms. That's another big reason why I know in the professional world people need or want to get Photoshop. They talk about being able to edit forms. They don't care as much about being able to sign something because you can write over a PDF on top of it and, and do that anyways. You can do that with OneDrive. You can do it with many tools. But the ability to edit PDF forms is a big one. That's great. So it has the ability to do that. And then you can fill them out with any standard PDF reader like Adobe Acrobat or any other one that's just a viewer. You can fill those out. A lot of people get confused in thinking that they need a PDF editor to fill out PDF forms. No, you need a PDF editor to design the fields that are filled out with a free PDF viewer. So that's really all there is to it. And this thing can do that. You can create those. And this tool at the time um, of this review, I think it went on sale for Black Friday for like, I don't know if it was like 18 bucks. That's incredible. That's like one month payment of Adobe Acrobat. So you can rent Adobe Acrobat for a month or you can own this for life. I think I know what I'm going with. So another feature that's rather new with this PDF Pro 3 is the screenshot tool. It lets you capture any portion of the document as an image file. You can customize the format resolution and color depth of the screenshot and even include an alpha channel support for transparent backgrounds. This is great for creating thumbnails, previews, logos, and icons from your PDFs. I don't need to do that, but I do use a professional screenshot tool externally, but just know it's there. And let's go to take snapshot. Okay, cool. It's right there. Very, very interesting. I've never had that in a PDF editor. So uh, PDF Pro 3 also has a powerful, which I just talked about was the OCR engine. That's optical character recognition. So we're going to try that out. Let's go over here to document. Pages? Is it pages? Okay. OCR corrections, recognize text. Let's try that. Let's see if it's like Adobe's. We're going to make this searchable. And what that means is if you scan a document that's from maybe from the old newspaper and you want to make it searchable, it will kind of index that text by scanning it and recognizing the characters. And then you can control F and search through tens of thousands of pages instead of reading through it. Big advantage. So let's try this now. I click OK. One page already contains editable text. The text would be lost if OCR is performed on it. That's OK. Yes. Let's see how fast this is. Page two already contains it. So it's just going to redo it. That's all. But if you do have a page that's a scan, this is going to I'm hoping work on that. So while that's going on, PDF Pro 3 also supports the PDF A format, which you saw when I was going to the export menus. And that's a standard for long-term digital document preservation. So you save it in PDF A, you just have a very good feeling it's compatible with somebody that opens it up 50 years from them, or 50 years from now. And PDF Pro 3 also has a built-in PDF printer driver that lets you create PDFs from any Windows application. Now, to me, that's not so unique, but they have their own. Maybe it's good, maybe it's efficient, and maybe it makes the file size smaller than the Windows standard PDF, you know, save as PDF feature or print to PDF feature. So interesting, and I will try it out. Not here today, though. And this is a really versatile application for the price, and what it can do, I'm going to give it four out of five stars. Yeah, I think four out of five. And the reason is because I tried launching it for the first time when I started up the software and it did do the whole close program or wait for program to respond. And this is on a fresh install of Windows. And it did that a couple of times, but then it worked. 
Right now, it's working really well. Um, you know, just for the the UI, I think it could be a little bit could be improved. Uh, maybe they'll do some updates on it. And but for the price, I mean, it's 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 almost four and a half out of five stars. That's what I'm going to give it because the price is just incredible. They're not being greedy on this. It's a very fair discount. And you can download a free trial from their website, and that is a very generous free trial. It just nags you the first time you open it up, and then they give you a, a serial number that you put in when you buy it, and you plug it in, and boom, it's yours. You don't have to have your credit card getting drained or just worn out every month from Adobe. So give this a shot. Maybe you'll save yourself a lot of money, and I hope I helped you and hope you learned something from this tutorial. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.